Hello everyone, Coach Crimson here, and today we're going to be going over a VOD um, that I saw in the Coach's Questions channel. Um, basically, this person requested um, VOD reviews from the coaches and the channel. I think the Apex University admin slash coaches don't normally do that, so I decided to take a crack at reviewing this VOD here. Um, I'm going to try to put these clips in the description, that way if you want to do an exercise, which I highly recommend, which is just opening up the VODs, critiquing it yourself, and then maybe watching this video to see what my thoughts were, and perhaps to see if our thoughts lined up. And again, when anyone VOD reviews, anyone's take is somewhat valid. So maybe you have a t different take based on what you would do, and I would have a different take based on what I would do. So. Without further ado, I'm going to go through the clips. Um, again, I'm going to assume you've watched these, so I'm not going to go through the full clip like second by second. I'm just going to review them at the points that I think are necessary. So right here on um, the clip here, we are in Harvester, ring four, seven teams. We're looking at a team right here on the high ground. Um, right about here, someone makes a call, hey, we're not in zone, which is fine. As soon as that call is made, they start walking. And real quick, look at the comp. See here. Ash, Valk. This is important because Seer should be the one checking for spots, right? You're not in zone, which is fine. You have a minute to go to zone, so there's no reason to like be rushing this, right? Um, right here, right away. It's a playable spot. Um, this team right here, you need to be worried. This team is not in zone. They need to push in somewhere, so you need to control a spot or either find a spot that's less combative or hold your ground and shoot them off your spot. So right away, you have this spot. This spot is great. I know, great. Sorry, let me rephrase that. It's it's a good spot. High ground. You might have to fight the other team for high ground. The other teams are on low ground. Not too bad. Is it good for the next circle? I doubt it because I think the next circle ends on snake, which is right here. But again, reason why I think it's decent is you can shoot people off snake on the outside corner. Um, so you have the play for the next zone, right? Like, okay, I'm working for zone four. What's my plan for the final zone, right? So this zone here gives you access to both. Right. Again, the caveat being you have to fight for the other team on high ground if they choose to fight you. Um, right here, there's a zone, there's a spot right here. Very good. TSM plays this sometimes. Good rat spot, whatever. Not the best spot, but it's least con confrontational. It's like, hey, I want to chill. Let the other teams fight you third party. Right. You have behind this right there, this is decent. Not, sorry, take it back. Not the best. Playable, better than dying. This is also decent. Um, it also just means that you didn't fight for the spot up here. This spot could probably kill you. Playing the door, not really good, probably not bad. Sorry, not good. Only play the spot if you're desperate. And for some reason, you don't want the ramp, which doesn't make any sense to me. But who knows, whatever. Um, also realize you have Ash Alt. So you play low ground here. You can Ash Alt to this high ground if they get taken. You can Ash Alt to, to Snake. You can you can Ash Alt anywhere you want, basically. Like, this range is get, getting so small, you can Ash Alt. Um, this just comes down to fight. Not really sure why. There's literally a team, you're just looking at them. Um, you get a good down, which is kind of sick. Um, you can also even have Ash ulted to the back. That would have been like a really sick play. I wouldn't have done it personally, but kind of sick. Kind of curious. Kind of curious what would have happened if you Ash ulted the back. Not going to lie. Not, not that I would have done it. You get third party, you die. Not good. Sadness. Um, but again, biggest thing I noticed, so many playable spots, yet you choose to fight with seven teams, right? Let's go over them again. Low ground here. Bam. High ground here. Bam. Some weird nook and cranny on this side. That's three. You have snake high ground. Didn't look playable. Possible. A corner on there, playable, so on and so forth. So there's only the spots that we can see with this VOD. That's four playable spots. None of them were taken. Not good. Let's go to the next clip here. Um, I'm fine, bro. Also, like the comms, I just want to say I've watched all these VODs. The comms are not the best, which is like a fine. You don't have to have the best comms, but whatever. Um, right here, you see somebody, you're chasing them. They see someone here, they chase. Um, right away, Horizon gets beamed. Uh, very wild. I wouldn't think you would get beamed here. You descend. This person descends. You don't. You should not do that. Take the lift. Sit on it for at least a second to see where you're going first. It takes no seconds to sit on the lift. It takes one second. All of a sudden you're in a bad spot. Also you have Ash Alt. So if you really wanted to ape this team really hard, you can use Ash Alt. You don't need to be chasing this hard. Now you're stuck. You hesitate. You can't hesitate. You need to fight. You're you're dying. Good. Where, use your nades. You have nades. Use your nades. Use your nades. And what's really important here is like, look, you're out, you overextend, this person overextends several times. Right here, bam, out over right there. Let me replay it because it was kind of fast. Again, Q. Also, the reason why this is really bad that they took the lift here is if they were closer to Valk, they could have ulted the down and the teammate out with uh, Ash ult. So this person does not look very comfortable in Ash. 
Um, anyways, here, Q, Q needs to come out. It, no hesitation. Nade needs to come out. Bam, overextended. Bam, overextended. Like, you need to play. You're not in the position to overshoot here. There's two people, maybe three, able to instantly kill you. If you watch any of my previous videos, the goal to 1v2ing, the goal to 1v3ing is don't peak the sight lines of two or more players. Just, it's terrible. Please don't do that. Or again, like, make them push you, right? Like, you hold that angle, you shoot, you, you nade, you do whatever, cover your teammate, get the res, alt out. Like, you have a lot of options available to you. Uh, not good. Um, here, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, chat. That was a lot of noise. My ears are burning. Um, what's the goal uh, here? I don't know. That's a, not a really good goal, right? You're, you're, you're shooting a pixel peak here. You're shooting a Watson fence. What's the risk reward here? You're not close to red. You're only risking going down. I don't know if you scattered the other nine teams yet. I don't think you have. Um, this is one of those games where you can't just not know where teams are, right? If you're playing the game, you have I infoed one team on almost thir third circle. You either should be ratting or looking for those teams. As in looking safely, telling your team, watching the angle, right? Look at this map. Why are we all watching one angle? Hello? We don't need to be watching that one angle. I know it's not ALGS, but like, come on. You, you don't need to be sitting on the same angle, right? Another bad habit is Valk is always pushing up, right? With no comms. There's no comms on this push-up. Why is Val Valk trying to look here, right? There's no comms in Valk. Valk's trying to look for an opening. It puts their team in a bad spot. This is just ridiculous. Just don't don't be doing this. This is not good. I mean, sorry. It could be good if the team it's communicated. But, like, you have KP. You have 3 KP. It's final circle. I When I play in plat and I get circle early, I like to farm teams like this. You get circle. You chill. And then you punish teams that don't have a spot, right? Because when you're playing this game and you have a spot, you're gonna get your you're gonna get your um your KP. I had a game where we had no KP, end game came, we had all the KP in the world. Because everyone just scrambles and dies. So again, you kind of walk out to help Valk. You should be should probably be with your horizon. Like just because your Valk is pushing out doesn't mean you don't need to be with your team. Um your horizon doesn't have a jetpack, so follow your your, your horizon. You get beam from the team behind you, and it's kind of like, well, you, if someone had been watching that angle, you might have known they were there. I don't think they really ratted in there. And I talked to this person directly, they said they ratted. Um, they probably were ratting a little bit, but like, if you, they had to have seen someone come out, they didn't 3-2-1 you. Or they probably did actually, but they, they didn't just hide in the corner, they, they were look, watching you before this happened, and you could have been watching them. You know, we know what you look like. We know where you live. You're literally. Dark. I don't like the. Really? Then I don't. You want you want. Literally, dog shit at this game. Really? Then you want one you want. I don't know who's who, but these comms are not not good. Don't don't be. The, the comms are like that. You need to be focused on the game. Don't be talking about one v ones and blah blah. It's just ridiculous. This is a. It's not a one v one game. I can go, I can go play a controller player. They beam me every time. I've actually played controller players who are brought silver beam me every time. Guess what? They're silver. Not to be not to be mean to them, but like, the point is the point of that statement. And I apologize, it's a little bit toxic. Rank doesn't matter, and one v ones don't matter. It, what matters is your team play and how you approach the game, right? There are a lot of mechanical players in plat that could play in LGS. There's a lot of player, mechanical players in silver probably play in masters if they have the team and the right ecosystem behind them, right? It doesn't matter. The goal is you're in a rank game. You need to work through team, through bad comps or good comps to get to your goal. So this is like not good comms here. Again, the same thing's happening. Valk is walking up, no comms. You didn't clear. Like this is kind of silly. You should be clearing the walk up, right? Catwalk's much better. I prefer catwalk. Um, but if you get a crack, that's fine. Like there needs to be some kind of entry in here. I see those two death boxes here and here. Um, I guess you fought and they fought off spawn both sides. But you need to get a crack before you walk up. You can't just walk up. Shoot them, crack them, put pressure. One of your teammates needs to be shooting for you. Also, you shouldn't be walking up like that out of the open. Like, if you're going to walk up, say, hey, I need someone to shoot for me. Right? The concept of shooting for somebody is very important. Uh, back to this one here. Nades can be used defensively. Nades prevent the push. This would have helped with nades. Again, same same here. Defensively speaking, you need to have someone shoot for you to walk up. Unless you either crack somebody or you have your teammate shoot for you so you can walk up for free. So, uh, just overall, it just seems like you're just, your team, there's no cohesion to end, which is fine. Like, if you're just walking out and have no game plan, that's more than fine. But your team needs to be mechanically skilled as well as efficient, as well as working well together. I don't see that here. You're just walking around with your head's cut off until something happens. You're, you're racked, you get kills, and you, you, you go on your merry way.
there should be a game plan in set here, set here, right? Get KP, play zone, blah, blah. My ideal game plan for teams that are still starting out is land somewhere safe, look for early KP if you can, off drop or, or on, a t on an unsuspecting team, walk S3, get the KP, or if you can't get KP within the first ring or two close, ring close or two, ring two, go straight to zone, play zone, right? Play zone, hold a good spot. If you're, not a good, if you're not in a good spot or don't have a good econ, just rat and chill, and then punish teams on the edge. I have a video that I just uploaded that's a full game of us doing just that. I'm going to do a VOD review after this video. Please go watch that. Um, if you like this type of VOD review, please like and subscribe. If you have any VODs you want me to review, please let me know. I love VOD reviewing. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.